politics. People don't like politics, right? People don't like to play politics. You hear a lot of people talk about like, oh, you playing politics. I don't want to play politics. Whether you like it or not, you need to understand politics. And I'm not talking about Democrats, Republicans. Uh, I'm not only that. I'm talking about work politics, street politics, friendship politics, relationship politics. It's politics. So politics in, as a whole need to be understood in order for the right moves to be made at the right time, in order for us to um, not take some stuff personal. Mm. Because it might not be the right direct answer, mm. but when you understand the politics, it might be the right move to get to that goal. Chess, right? But if you don't understand the politics, we, you know, oftentimes we it might get tripped up or feel like, dang, that's, you know, something should have happened that didn't happen because we don't understand the politics. So you can't be blind of them. You need to understand them. Yeah. Uh Politics. This may be where we disagree. Good po politics. Um, you know, I think politics ruin a lot of things. Yes, you should be aware of certain things, but I think politics sometimes take away from what experiences. For instance. Um, at work, uh, where, you know, everyone should be treated the same or, you nine know. Nine to five, you talking about. Nine to five, corporate yeah, world. Corporate world. Um, you know, everyone has to come in at the same time. Everyone has the same responsibilities. Everyone is treated with the same respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. But politics say, if you're black, you better get here before your white counterparts if you're black um you don't want to raise your voice and be known as the angry nigga. um politics in the workplace work very different based on the color of your skin and you know your position there as well but to the to your point on the flip side politics also keep things in check and in order from time to time. So um, like in, in a business, let's say an independent business, um, you know, um, a worker might feel a way about a decision that was made mm -hmm. when, you know, not knowing that, hey, the worker be can only see from where they can see. Mm -hmm. And whoever in management made this decision can see further than the worker can see. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I know you feel like that, but this decision was made because this decision is going to bring the, the greater good. So I, I see both sides of that. I yeah. see both sides of that. I mean, I could use the real examples, but... Uh, I'm hesitant because yeah, no, I know I, someone. Yeah, yeah. that's that's why I didn't watch it. I was like, I don't even but, want to talk about this one. But not saying I even 100 percent agree with the the points you made initially, right? I think just aside from the addressing each point, what you kind of echoed is the same. You're aware of them because if you're not aware of anything that you yeah, said, yeah. Then you're removed. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. end. Like, there's no pity party or line that you get in that says the politics screwed me over. There's no, nah. there's no such thing. Nobody's going. You're just not going. You're going to eliminate it, right? Facts. In fact, how you are, LeBron, Jordan, Tiger Woods, you got to navigate politics, politics and don't let them trip up your goal. So, so for instance, even just corporate rule, right? Nobody's working for fun and for free. And this is that, something I that, always keep in mind. That's the part. And if you're not working for fun and for free, you're here because it's a transaction. I'm going to give you some work. And people always gripe and get upset about like, oh, you know, if you work in and you get X, you're, you're, they're really making 10X off you. Well, 
Congratulations. That's how business goes. <laughs> Forget corporate world. There's if nothing you're going to do. Business, Facts. The people that I pay in my business, I'm not paying them the 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 portion that takes away because then the business ain't going to stand up. So that's just how business works. So that's for one, for people that kind of complain about. But two, if you're in the corporate world, it's a transaction. So I'm showing up. I'm making some money. And for me, that funds other stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's the goal is that I'm not here forever and I'm not here because um, you necessarily love the job, though. My job, I love Mm -hmm. like um, I'm here because it's helping my family. It's helping me grow. It's helping me do other stuff. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And if that's my mission. Yeah, there's some politics uh, um, that that goes on. Yeah, this person might be mm, uh, and they might be one of the, you know, top people. But. At the end of the day, I'm here for me, not for them. Yeah. They might be benefiting off of some of the stuff I'm doing, yeah. but I'm benefiting from it directly too. And, and I got my priorities in mind, top of mind always too. So then, so then that's what I'm doing it for. Mm-hmm. And then that doesn't make some of the politics right. That just makes me aware of how I need to move around them. And, and that ultimately... Uh, benefits me so that that's kind of how i see it not to excuse any of the politics yeah because there's a lot of some of some of the realms corporate is one of them you know there's a lot of different areas where some of the politics just don't make no sense i mean just politics in general republican democrat type of politics there's a lot of like bickering back and forth disagreeing just to disagree where lives are affected because of some of this just politic plan so Without going down all of the line of them, you shouldn't have to, but because they exist and they're smart how they exist. I mean, in corporate, going back to corporate, there's certain things that companies are putting into play and to help safeguard, to say, like, we're diverse. We we have HR. We stand by every letter. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's all of this stuff that goes on, but there are still people that, Move around those politics. Facts. So they'll get up in front. And I've, I've faced to face with some of them. They get up in front of a meeting, say the right thing, stand by the, okay, check. We we said we do this and we didn't. We had a meeting about it. And then those people aren't, that. aren't, they look right to you when you walk in through the hallway. Politics. So they're playing it. But when you play it and you know how to play, you're aware of it. So then they don't trip you up. But more than that, I can play back normally these these politics for us yeah particularly for us it, it's a net that a lot of those politics oh we get them out of there yeah. oh you want them out of there oh we can easily get them out of there because we got the politics yeah if you know how to play them and you're aware of like oh wait that's a slippery spot nope there's some yeah. upsetness some people that are intending to trip you up with the politics that if you're aware of them then you can't get tripped up by them and i think a lot of times for people in our um, uh, background, in our background specifically, mm. a lot of times our position is like, nah, I ain't playing the politics. Because in a certain realm, yeah. we don't play those politics. And yeah. a certain realm was like, nope, it's up well, and down. This is, this is getting good right here. Yeah, certain lanes for us, normally <laughs> from our background and upbringing, it's up and down. Like, nope, not playing that because I'm not choosing to. So, nah. Yeah. And then when we switch over, and then you got to confront to face to try to play them. It's an internal, so, uh, it's an internal pull. Let me, let me break down. Cause you said a lot just now. So pretty much what it boils down to is we're saying in every arena, you have to be aware of the politics there. If you're going into a, a, a business setting, a corporate setting, a, a relationship, a partnership, and you think there aren't politics, then you're naive and then whatever that is, is probably not going to last or, or be fruitful like you would hope or want it to be. You won't be successful. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So, but know that per arena, the politics change (laughs) because just like you just said, you know, things you you may be like, Oh, that's a non-negotiable. I'm rocking with that. Depending on the arena, you may be shooting yourself in the foot. You may be sabotaging yourself because, f- for instance, street politics. Okay, mm-hmm. you outside, 
you're walking with your your girl, your wife, your significant other, and someone comes and says something crazy, mm-hmm. like you know, call call you and and her out her name or you know whatever the case may be. Outside policy may be, you know, you are obligated to say something back or you ignore and keep it moving. But if it gets to a certain level, like, all right, we got to address this Mm -hmm. versus in corporate America, you're in the office. Somebody says some wild shit out their mouth. You know, uh, what you may do and how you address it outside has to be very different then how you address it inside in the corporate corporate office. You know what I mean? Like you said, you got to kind of find those ways to, you know, uh, advocate for yourself without, you know, being the wild at work. What'd you say? Like, rather than do that, like, you know what? Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to follow up with you in an email about my thoughts about the statement you just made. You know, something like that. Like, so. Yeah, I mean, simply put, that's what it boils down to. What it boils down to a lot of times, most times for us in our background, mm. is outside of corporate, the politics about disrespect is short. Disrespect in any form, yeah. nope, not tolerated. Not doing it. When you switch to corporate, you could get disrespect in different ways, and you can't address it and handle it like you would outside yeah and that one thing right there is what trips a lot of us up is that nope not tolerating disrespect never had never will and 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 then we're removed yeah because we 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 show it it was wild and and most times they're like yep got it see see that was the one the ace in the hole that they know they could pull we was waiting for you to fire yourself because at the end of the day if it ain't working out do something politically correct that's disrespectful because they're going to trip. And that's what gets a lot of us out of there. Oh, so boy. it's just about being aware. So if you're aware, right, um, of yourself, your priorities, your goals, and then you're aware of politics, then, again, a lot of uh, people going to listen to this and already see, feel people, you know what I'm saying? The, the, it's not playing it. Or you're not playing yourself. You're just being aware and, and remembering your goals, right? It's not, you know, and, and and to your point, there's certain ways to play back. And that's my point as well, is that if somebody's playing politics and you understand the politics, you understand your organization's stance against something, mm-hmm. regardless of, you know, a lot of times those organizational business stance it it is from the for the top, top down. and it's for you know the people that's not at the top. If you understand that, and and you understand somebody's kind of giving you something a little bit that's not that, then you could play back. And when you mentioned one way, mm-hmm. email, you yeah. know, what I mean? oh boy, and and a nice email that doesn't sound like. Uh, Complaining, like you said, that's like, hey, you know, in the hall, that conversation that you had, it sounds like, you know, I didn't intend to, but it, based on what you said, there's certain ways you can incorporate mm-hmm. and CC, right? But that's all politics that you got to be aware of, yep. and how to play back is like that, is yep. uh, that CC, that that not sounding upset, even when you got reason to be, that's making the issue heard. And making it about the issue, not about how I took it. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's a ways to play back, but you first got to be aware um, of what you what you came to the job for. It wasn't to like forget make climbing friends. the crap corporate ladder or make friends and all that stuff. You yeah. came to a job because you're trying to get the bread to take care of yourself. Give me and this if you check. Can, if you can get some more bread and get some experience, then that's going to mean more for your family, more for your lifestyle, more businesses and stuff you can start. That's why you're there. So yeah. don't don't let nobody trip you up about politics. But you got to know it just like you know the speed limit. Because if you don't know the speed limit, <sighs> anybody can pull you over and tell oh, you that's a good that one. you're breaking it. And the speed limit changes Depending several different you times. Going. You could be on a regular road. It's one thing. And then you can yeah. hop on the highway. It's another thing. You hop on the parkway. It's a whole nother one. So, so don't be mad at the police when they pull you over until you broke the speed limit. Where's the camera? Hey. 
Yeah. Be. Are you aware of your politics? Like you remember them? Do you got milk? Uh, are you aware of your politics? You know what I mean? Hey, you just got to be aware. Be aware because the speed limit is there, so it's it's known what it should be, and and you know nobody know the speed line. limit. Nobody's getting in line and having a pity party because you are getting a ticket and you don't get the right to be screaming and kirking out at the cop if you're doing eighty and a fifty when the speed limit says fifty. If you're blind to the speed limit, don't you can't be upset. When, when you, you crash. get the consequences of the of breaking it, right? So that's where being aware of the politics matters. 